The Global Games Development Fund provides financial support for GEA clubs around the world. When you go abroad and you, and you, you I suppose you get to witness, I suppose, the, the passion that they share just as equal as ourselves over here, you know. Um, yes, I've been away before to abroad to America and the States, stuff like that. And, do you know, the Irish immigrant people over there, they just love the, they love the GEA and, you know, they, they do everything they can to develop everything they can over, over abroad. I've been to um, Australia, USA and Canada and you know I've been supported by by several GA clubs um, wherever I've went um, and I think they have been the, the main stead for me and they, they've given me um, the support that I needed when I travelled and, and went to these countries. Wherever Irish people have gone they've brought their culture and crucially for us they've brought the GA with them so we now have Gaelic games played right around the world we're on every continent except the Antarctic so and I'm sure that will follow and wherever the GA is organized well we have a connect with them it's important that they keep in touch with us it's good for their social development it's good for their economic development of the country they're in and of course it's good for their cultural links back to Ireland and with the Department of Foreign Affairs assistance and we're delighted to partner with the DFA on trade and uh, we're able to you know invest and give offer some funding to clubs right around the world. Well the fund I suppose it, it's an acknowledgement of the great work that's going on around the world. It's an acknowledgement of all the good work, the volunteers, uh, the work that goes into keeping the tradition, the heritage of uh, GAA alive and uh, in, the, in the recent years um, the Department of Foreign Affairs has acknowledged that the GAA itself, the GAA network abroad actually acts as a support system and at times of trouble, times of grief, um, they can be a point of contact. But in relation to the funding, 3.7 million since 2007, every penny is, is so, so important. My club was Cormac McNallan's over in Sydney and it was pretty much the most important thing going over to a new country was finding you know that group of people that you were going to be with and had the same way of thinking as yourself and you know they wanted to train, wanted to go out and you know had something in common with you from back home. It's brilliant that you have an organisation like the JA working with the Department of Foreign Affairs, the government working with you in order to promote Gaelic games across the world and you've got such an Irish diaspora, it's great for them to have something to turn to.